as you pointed out, that this is going to be the, the fall market. So a lot of people want to, you know, move before the winter. So we, we might be, you know, heading into a good fall market in October. So if anybody's planning to sell uh, their home, October is a month that you uh, you will sell uh, your house if you're intending to sell. Okay. Uh, you know, it's still hot. Uh, two weeks is, is still compared to other markets where houses are sitting for like, you know, months. Uh, Milton is still a very active market. Uh, a good house uh, priced um correctly uh, according to market will will sell in in two weeks if you're getting a townhouse let's for in this even 700 range and you can rent it well, rents are way up in in, in in milton you can easily rent uh something like this for 2500 dollars uh, right um if you are coming in with like 20 percent or 30 percent as most investors do um you can definitely cash flow Welcome everybody back to the Canadian Real Estate Channel. I'm Adam J.D. Martin and today we've got Wise from Save Max here to give us the Milton market update. So what's going on over there in, Wil in Milton today? Um, Adam, uh, thanks for having me here. Um, Milton uh, is, is not immune to what's going on in the market. So um, let's go down to the stats. Uh, definitely uh, a time uh, where it's more favorable for the buyers. And, and let's see, you know, where the averages are at. So right now, currently, average house in Milton is about a million bucks. Okay. Uh, so uh, let's go through the stats. Average uh, price in Milton is a million. And monthly change um, is about 0.6%. Uh, slightly on a growth side. Um, however, you see that it's kind of balancing off with the quarterly change of 7% yearly change of 7.4% uh, in the negative, right? So we are kind of facing a little bit of uh, the common theme in the market uh, of reduced prices, uh, along with the recent, um, you know, interest rate hikes. Uh, but I think this is as low as it gets. And um, after, after a while, um, you know, the interest rates increases, will probably not affect the price as much. Your thoughts uh, on this, Adam? Um, yeah, I mean, I, I'm relatively uninformed with Milton's um, exact economics and stuff, but I am actually predicting probably the next two Bank of Canada meetings to be an interest rate rise. Yeah. Um, and so, you know, I guess in, in at least in the markets that I'm following, this has put downward pressure on the price and an upward uh, an increase of supply that seems to be sitting. Uh, mm -hmm. But I do think we're also heading into the fall market that yeah. is going to have its own seasonality as well. So, yeah. you know, I, I'm very interested to see September, October numbers. Yeah, yeah, no, definitely. So let's actually uh, go through what we have um, for August and September, mid-September. Right now we are in mid-September. So uh, as you can see through the year, um, how volatile it has been. So um, if you're looking at the peak, this was the peak in uh, in March. So average sale price was almost 1.4 million uh, in in Milton, and um, as the days went uh, went by and in increases in, in interest rate, this was the most drastic, uh, you know, uh, slide or you know a dip uh, we can say, right? So almost from 1.1.4 1. 1. to like 1.175. Uh, in in May, right? And uh, when that happened, obviously more people came into the market, and and the sales sales went up, and and the price also went up, and and now since July and and all this way, uh, it's just been a downward trend. Uh, right now we are sitting at a million thirty five average price point, but as you can see, uh, it it is most likely uh, heading a little upward. 
uh, in the next month or so. As you pointed out, that this is going to be the, the fall market. So a lot of people want to, you know, move before the winter. So we, we might be, you know, heading into a good fall market in October. So if anybody's planning to sell uh, their home, uh, reach out to me uh, yeah, because October is a month that you uh, you will sell uh, your house if you're intending to sell. Okay, and if you're intending to buy, obviously uh, this is the lowest of the low. Um, uh, we obviously don't know the the bottom, but I think uh, from the stats and the graphs that that you're seeing here, I think this is this is the bottom as as uh, low as it can go. Uh, but then again, uh, we don't have a crystal ball, um, and, and, and I'm just saying that if you're in the in the buying uh, position and you're qualified, I think uh, Milton uh, could be the market market for you, right? Because right now, let's go into the detached homes. See the detached homes, a two bedroom bungalow uh, will will cost you around nine hundred and five. Three bedroom is one point one million, reduced from like six months ago at 1.5 and three months ago at 1.3. So um, it's almost like a $400,000 discount that, that you're getting uh, uh, in the last six months. Uh, so if you are in the market for a three bedroom, 1.1 is the average price in Milton. If you want a four bedroom, 1.4 uh, is the average price in, in Milton. Uh, this is um, again reduced by like 1.8 that was six months ago average price was about 1.8 for four bedroom two car garage three three plus washrooms right um and obviously in the in the luxury market also we are seeing the the reduction where you have five plus bedrooms uh reduced from 2.2 million to 1.7 million uh, so that's the detached stats in the townhouse townhouse stats you know townhouse is very popular in milton uh, for a growing family, you know, um, and the good location, you know, uh, most people want to target uh, a townhouse. So in the townhouse, the stats are, you know, you can get a two bedroom for 764 ish range. Uh, and that's down from the 890s, the six months ago, where it was the peak. And three beds at 910, uh, again, down from 1.1 million uh, 200, uh, to about 900K. And, and four beds, a little bit more luxurious uh, townhomes, four bed townhomes, still under a million dollars, which I think from the Milton perspective is, is such a bargain because um, uh, these were selling at 1.4 six months ago, three months ago, 1.1 million, right now under a million. So um, great time to buy in, in Milton. And if you are starting off, uh, if you're a, a, a single person or just a, a, a couples, I think a condos are also a great way to go and very affordable pricing right now. One bedrooms at 558, um, again, reduced almost 100K. Two bedrooms at 628, uh, all the way down from 822. Okay, so the, it's a drastic discount. So uh, if you are qualified for in the 600 to 650 range, I think uh, Milton Condo would be um, an ideal fit for you. And um, yeah, we, we can talk about that. Um, just uh, some, to summarize some more stats, um, we had 276 listings in the last 28 days uh, and sold over 118 homes. Average days on market is 22 days on the market. I know it's a slightly a higher um, number, uh, but we are noticing that in all, all the markets uh, where the houses are on the market for about uh three weeks three to four weeks and uh selling slightly under asking price so we are noticing more and more realtors you know who are pricing it uh, at at the value that they are at and uh, and they're selling at 97 percent of the of the list price uh just to summarize uh we have uh sold around 21 condos 49 townhouses and 48 uh, detached homes uh, in in the past uh, in this past month from August to just mid mid September. And what's been the trend with regards to sales and inventory? As Adam pointed out, you know there is a lot of inventory uh, right now in the market. So you see the inventory uh, right now is uh, approximately between four hundred. Uh, you know, range is prorated. So 
uh, almost um, you know uh, there's a big gap between the the sales and the inventory so the lots of houses are coming on the market and staying on the market for a longer time um, and sales uh, have slightly dipped uh, I think this is just probably because just school just started and you know people uh, were not thinking of uh, buying or selling at this moment but I think uh, October will be the will be the official fall market uh, you know there we'll be seeing some some more transactions uh, on right so average days on market for anything between uh, the 500 to 750 uh, range is about 31 days right now as I said about about four weeks uh, and the popular segment between 750 and a million which is uh, which is mostly your townhomes and and some some detached uh, it's about 15 days which is which is still very uh, aggressive and uh, you know very good in in the for the Milton market uh, so two weeks is, is what it takes and 22 days is, is the average um, uh, sell uh, selling number of days on the market yeah, that's pretty interesting to see the cheapest segment is actually sitting on the market the longest. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, of course, these are uh, averages, right? Um, yeah. Uh, these these are averages. Uh, it's it's a uh, little challenging with, with Milton because the Milton, the city itself is, um, you know, people want a nicer house if they are moving to Milton. So so the 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 mid section which is still very popular right so the 750 to a million uh, you know it's still hot uh, two weeks is is still compared to other markets where houses are sitting for like you know months uh, milton is still a very active market uh, a good house uh, priced um, correctly uh, according to market will will sell in in two weeks uh, now this number is here, 31 days. Uh, yeah, this is probably mostly um, uh, condos and uh, probably a little bit older townhouses in this market of the uh, low 700s. Um, anything newer uh, and uh, you know uh, better of obviously doesn't stay on the market for long. Uh, but if anything is older and um, what do you call it? Uh, not that represented or or higher priced. Uh, even in the lower segment, supposing you know you have a townhouse that is higher priced, uh, you know it will sit on the market without selling. Right. Yeah, I guess. And the other thing that is just good to note here for any buyers here was the actual sale to list price, right? Like it looks like if you're making offers right now, you would probably expect to pay slightly less than what it's actually listed yeah. for, which is definitely a good insight for anybody that's you know, not aware that the prices have actually, or demand rather, has led to the point where that's possible. Yes. Yeah. I mean, th those days of, you know, uh, 300,000 over asking, 200,000 over asking uh, are gone. Uh, so, um, uh, and, you know, uh, all, all, obviously all the realtors as well, you know, are pricing it on the market. And, uh, and we are also, you know, at the same time conveying to our sellers that, you know, we want to, be where the market is and uh it's not like we are going to force a bidding war uh underpricing it and, and 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 trying to sell uh for multiple offers um some realtors continue to do that um i mean uh more powerful uh, to them if they can manage to get a multiple bid uh but most most realtors have switched the the, the marketing technique where you know you're going to be listing low uh, we are listing at at market values and then uh, accepting offers uh, pretty much any time. Okay, awesome. And do you have any advice for um, investors that are watching this video right now? Like, is this the best time to buy? Should they be waiting a little bit longer? Are there certain clauses or strategies that you think would work best right now to get the best opportunity? I think uh, it is a great opportunity for uh, for investors um you know i just pull up uh, the website that i have uh, here so uh, website my website is wiseahmed.ca um so right now you know as you can see right here for investors wise you know if you're getting a townhouse let's for in this even 700 range and you can rent it well, rents are way up in in, in in milton and every everywhere else um you know you can easily rent uh something like this for $2,500, uh, right? Um, 
if you are coming in with like 20% or 30%, as most investors do, um, you can definitely cash flow uh, positive uh, in some of the areas uh, in Milton. And, you know, if you're looking at, you know, condos as well, um, 750, 700s, um, townhouses in the 750 range. I mean, that's that's amazing, uh, you know, for for rentals. Um, you, you see here, this is this is a, a 750 detached bungalow, right? Um, so uh, I think for investors, uh, there is definitely uh, deals out there in the market. And uh, we do have some exclusives as well. So if you're an investor, uh, you want to reach out to us and we'll let you know what we have uh, with us on as exclusives as well. We have um, right now um, some condos, uh, condo townhomes in Milton. Uh, yeah, uh, assignment sales, um, new uh, townhome assignment sales for you know for a great great price point. So uh, reach out to me. Uh, and for buyers, if you're a first time home buyer, you know there's so many options right now. Uh, you could get into um, the condos in Milton. You can get into the townhouses in Milton. And um, again, I'm a big um, proponent of the green life buildings, which are which are something like this here, right here, green life um, condo. The the good thing about green life condo is that your maintenance costs are super super low, right? Maintenance is three hundred and thirty nine dollars, right? And this is a condo, two bedroom plus den, two baths, for like eight hundred thousand dollars, right? Uh, so something like this, uh, which is, uh, it's got thermal, um, it uses thermal energy for, for heating, uh, as well as uh, solar powered, uh, you know, energy for the common areas. So this way your maintenance fee is lower. It's a gorgeous wow. condo. Look at that right there. Right. So you are, um, Saving on the maintenance costs, which most condos have higher maintenance costs. Like I've seen condos with like six hundred dollars, seven hundred dollars maintenance fees, uh, which is not going anywhere, right? It's uh, whereas these green condos here, um, you save a lot in the maintenance fee, and then the green condos also appreciate appreciate faster. Okay, they do appreciate very fast. So uh, this is a listing by Keller Williams, Edge Realty just to uh, acknowledge the listing agents. Um, yeah, so it's great uh, property here. So yeah, if you're a first time home buyer, definitely look into the condominiums. They're very affordable. And uh, if you are, yeah, looking for a home, um, definitely, you know, like I said, the townhomes are very affordable right now between 750 and 850. And even the detached, like I said, Right now, the average price is about a million dollars for a detached, which is, which is um, a three-bedroom, uh, one-car garage, you know, uh, two-plus washrooms. Um, and also, uh, Adam, um, if some people have decided to rent for some some more time, they're like not sure in the market. It's it's perfect for uh, you know, time to rent. I have a feature listing here, eight forty-nine Aspen Terrace. Right. So this is a huge house, only a one year old um, house, four bedrooms, four washrooms. Right. So right here, just to show your audience, uh, it's a mat me built home, only a one year old home. Or I should say brand new home, <laughs> one year old. I mean, look at this uh, pot lights, um, hardwood floors. You know, nobody at the back, so uh, almost like a, a ravine lot. Dining area, kitchen with uh, stainless steel appliances, uh, big uh, kitchen island. That's the breakfast area, right? Oak staircases, big bedrooms. So four bedrooms, that's the master bedroom right there. And you saw the view out there, you know, you can see a, a farm uh, farmland there. So, yeah, if you are, uh, you want to delay your purchase, you know, just want to rent for a bit. So you can get a brand new home for $4,000 approximately. Um, uh, so you can rent for a bit and then, and then if you decide to purchase, you can, you can then, um, you know, purchase something you like. So uh, renting also is, is a good option in Milton. 
uh, because it's such a sought after location, you may as well rent, get a feel for the community. And then when you're ready to buy, you know, uh, you can make that uh, decision uh, of purchasing. <laughs> Coming back to the stats, um, this is some of the stats that most of our viewers, you know, kind of uh, look forward to. Uh, price point wise is the 16th most expensive uh, city uh, right now. Uh, of course, after King, uh, King City, King City is number one still. Oakville, East Gunsbury, Caledon, Vaughan, Richmond Hill, Aurora, Markham, Uxbricks, Halton, uh, Mono, Stovall, Newmarket, Toronto, Mississauga, and Milton. So we are close tie with uh, Mississauga, um, which is the closest, uh, I guess, uh, big city. Um, so averaging around a uh, million dollars. 16th fastest growing and sixth fastest selling. Like we discussed, uh, days on market is approximately about 22. We are just after Ajax, Stovall, Pickering, Augsburg, and Brampton. Uh, actually, it's a tie with Brampton at 21 days. Uh, apparently, Ajax right now is is the hottest market right now, 14 days. Uh, we're not far far behind uh, Ajax, uh, 22 days uh, on the market. Still, still the fastest selling market uh, for Milton. And growth-wise as well, Milton is the 16th fastest growing, uh, uh, you know, what do you call it, township. So uh, year after year over year, uh, the growth is significant. We are the 16th fastest growing. You see that uh, right now it's in a negative, but, uh, you know, this is just the current market. Uh, but year over year, Milton has always gotten uh, big gains uh, you know, for in, for anybody who is uh, bought in Milton uh, knows that you know they have um, they have had a significant equity built up in, in the market. Now, I, I think that all those stats actually make quite a bit of sense. It's uh, basically following the pattern that the rest of our market updates have been following, which is like, you know, there's been an excess in supply, there's been a bit of a lack of demand, and ultimately a return back to you know roughly 2020 prices. And that's uh, how I've actually been doing most of my offers lately is by going back to 2020 to look at the data from there. And I think we can make some reasonable assumptions that, you know, this is a, it's not ever really about timing the market. It's about time in the market. And, uh, and ultimately I could see a return to these 2021 prices, but it may be at a much more logical pace. Maybe that typical four or 5% per year that we're, that we're used to across the board. So yeah. Um, yeah, I don't think there's any surprise here to see that Milton's following lockstep with the rest of the province. Yeah. Um, yeah, two more things I would like to you know uh, um, mention to the audience. Um, for a limited time, um, you know, uh, we are at our brokerage offering um, a 9.99 listing. So, so this is our promotions right now. So list your house for 9.99. So there's no no gimmicks or anything like that. Um, all we are asking is that you list your house for nine ninety nine uh, and you buy from us. Okay, so that's that's the condition basically. So um, so for a limited time, list your house for nine ninety nine and and purchase uh, your next home uh, with Save Max Superstars. And also, um, I'm expanding on my brokerage. So if you're a realtor who's watching it uh, right now, we have um, you know we're growing and we are having a job fair. Uh, October 1st. So if you're a realtor, just message me or call me 416-876-9960. Of course, follow me on social media, Facebook, LinkedIn, and YouTube um, as well. So um, yeah, that's all the updates. Uh, hope you guys uh, enjoyed uh, the show and um, thanks for having me. Awesome. Yeah. Thanks again for coming back. And if you aren't subscribed yet to the channel, please get down there and subscribe and turn on those notifications so that you can come back every month for these market updates. You want to know what's going on in the market and you want to hear it straight from the experts inside that market. And that's exactly what we've got here. So thanks you very much again for coming on the Canadian Real Estate Channel and we'll see you guys next month. Thank you, Adam.